So ladies and gentlemen, fight number five this evening is brought to you by Building Industry Training. It will be contested in the featherweight division over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.0 kilos and trains out of base training center, holding an amateur record of one win for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dwayne Taggart! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 66.1 kilos and trains out of Mackay MMA, holding an undefeated amateur record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jaron Geronimo! Wag! Three, three minute rounds. Eternal amateur featherweight division. Thomas Churchill signifies the start of this bout. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Tanira Nathan Cage side with Kyle Noak. Good to be with you tonight, Kyle. Oh, it's great to be here. The atmosphere here tonight's phenomenal. I, every fight so far has been fireworks, and I think this one's going to be no different as both these guys try to feel each other out at the start. Not too much, a couple of fakes and feints. Both just trying to feel each other and see how the fight goes. You see Taggart threatened with those legs a few times, a few fakes with the legs. No speaking to Damien, he thinks that Wag has good boxing skills, so we're going to look for Taggart to actually use his feet a bit more and, and try and strike that way. You can't go wrong with a guy like Damien Brown in your corner. A wealth of knowledge and experience, I'm sure, to pass on to these young and upcoming fighters. And Taggart also has a K1 history as well, so looking for him to really uh, you know, establish control with the feet. See a bit more of a boxing stance from Wag. Hands a bit wider. Taggart starting to target those legs, looking to find his mark early here in round number one. Quite smart from Taggart. You know, if you take the legs away from someone quite early, they'll, uh, it's hard to put pressure on them legs, and then the, the head will open up, the body will open up, and you're able to take advantage in the later rounds. A technical chess match here so far. And uh, a bit different from the fights we've seen earlier on tonight. Nothing but explosive action. This one, far more technical. Yeah, both guys seem to have a lot more control in this fight. Probably just a little bit more experience from these guys. Don't want to come out too hard, too fast. Fingers. Just both, like I said, feeling each other out. Hands low on Wag, which may not be a good idea right now. Nice jab to the body there from Jaron Wag. Watch your fingers, gentlemen. And Dwayne Taggart even said that, you know, during lockdown, he was training with the boys in the garage, working on uh, adding uh, strikes and attacks from Southpaw to add to his arsenal. Yeah, from the great idea, you know, let's see if he mixes it up tonight and actually switches that Southpaw stance. A lot of respect shown by both men. No one... Uh, doing anything too crazy at this stage. As you said, Cole, note the feeling out process continues. Yeah, you can see Wagley landing the heavier strikes in the feet and the hands right now, and Taggart just really trying to get those legs established and, and can kick those th inner thighs and outer thigh of Wag. Good feeling out process. Let's hope the next round they Felt each other out enough now to let it go. No doubt. Words of wisdom from both corners. You'd have to think. Both tongue in their fighter. Let's press the action. Mm. You see the heavier strikes already coming from Taggart. Keeps chopping away at that leg. Very heavy hands from Wag. Yes. Every time Taggart gets close, Wag lets him know about it. Switching stance now. And you can see the redness just starting to welt on the body of Mr. Wag. Courtesy of Dwayne Taggart. Kicks to the body as Jaron Tag Wag comes with one of his own. See Taggart switch to that southpaw stance to really let that left leg go. Short shots landed on the inside. Both guys hands down low. 
Interesting. I think Tiger just to keep tucking that front leg, mate. Wag very cautious about coming in and letting go with those hands. Because he looks like he's got some power in those hands. Oh, definitely. And I like what you said, Cole. Just keeping him at bay at the moment because he knows if Jaron gets in close, you know, it's only a couple of shots from being from being stopped as Dwayne Taggart looks to pressure now. And this is where he wants to be, you'd have to think, Cole. Yeah, nice double leg there. He's, he's nullified the hands now. Good stand. And takes him for a ride. <laughs> Good position for Dwayne Taggart here in the second round. And it won't be long now, guys, since so there's an armbar. So <laughs> keep Stand your eyes by. peeled. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> what a night it has been. The action continues here. Dwayne Taggart in a good position, you'd have to think. Yeah, Taggart just needs to posture up a little bit and let his hands go. But Wag's doing an awesome job of holding Taggart down and making sure he can't create space to, to really get that leverage he needs to, to land some heavy shots. He's really just trying to slow it down and hopefully the ref stands him back up. As he gets his hips out, though, he may be working for an armbar here. Nice little angle with his hips. Watch the back it's going to be head. hard to get that angle while he's controlling the head, though. Well, in the eyes of the judges, you'd have to think the momentum in favour of Dwayne Taggart now scores a takedown and now controlling position quite well. Jaron Wag just waiting for his opportunity uh, to stand up or be place. stood up <laughs> by Thomas Churchill. He doesn't know he's going for much. It's hard to go for a submission, like near impossible with a closed guard. So if you see those legs open up, he may be looking for a submission. But as the guys get sweaty now, you can see that real guys are both pretty sweaty. It's going to be hard to get a submission. Thomas Churchill right, telling our guys to work, oh, and he go. steps in. Just a little bit more action on top. Standing right. these gentlemen back up, and away we go again. Counting down the last 10 Ooh. seconds of round number two. A left hook landed there for Taggart. Yeah. Both guys letting go on the final seconds. He's got to be careful Five. dropping his hands there, Jaron Wag. Who knows? The instruction from Jaron Wag's corner. Press the action to look to land those big shots on the inside. Round three, we are underway. And check the kicks. <laughs> Certainly helps. <laughs> oh, nice one too. Hands a little low for me for Taggart. Wag's got that power. He doesn't want to get suckered into a big punch. Back to the kicks again. Really batter on that front leg. But here we go. Wag closing the distance now. Look how strong Wag was. Just pushed him away. Threw him back. Yeah, very mm. strong. Spinning back kick there. Straight to the body. But I tell you what. Jaron Wag definitely has some venom in those punches. He's putting everything into them when he gets close. Absolutely. He's leaving nothing in the tank. He's throwing with bad intent. Yeah, you have to think that's exactly what he needs to do. Last round here. In his second fight in his amateur MMA career, pressing the action on Dwayne Taggart. And you see him a little bit wobbly on that leg just then, just a little bit of uh, lack of confidence to put his weight on that leg. Maybe that leg's starting to hurt him a little bit. As you can see, the welts on his calves and his thighs. Good control there, nice head position. Just needs to get that forehead under Taggart's chin to stop him from, from lowering his hips. Look how strong he is. He's just throwing him around a little bit. Taggart's doing a great job, though, of waiting for it and, and then re-establishing control. But Well, he's looking for another takedown here in round three. He's successful in our previous round. Can he do it again? Yeah, without seeing much ground game from Wag, I think it's a great idea for Taggart to get it to the ground. Ooh. And down goes Taggart. Jaron Wag oh, swarming. Jumps on the back. He's and he has control. a bit of time to work here. Can he get the finish, Kyle? I think a little cage hold there from Taggart. It's hard to tell from this angle. I think he's got it secure. I can't see where, where uh, Taggart's chin is, though. Well, this is very oh, close. There's the tap. And there's the tap. He's got it. Wag. From the dead, Jaron Wang! Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 14 seconds of round number 3. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke in the red corner, Jaron Geronimo Wag. Jaron Geronimo Wag.